Tuesday's Financial Times and one small step backwards for NASA, Paul. Yeah, NASA cancels launch of Moon Mission after engine trouble. Most people have seen this today. The blast-off of the first US rocket in 50 years capable of carrying humans to the moon was called off on Monday morning last minute because of last-minute problems with the engine cooling system. So... I imagine this comes as devastating news to anybody who can't afford to pay their heating <laughs> bill at the moment. It's, I don't mean to be flippant about stories like this, because it is, it's, it's, it's important, but it feels like moon dust is n the last thing we need at the moment. It's not on my list of priorities. Yeah. So, it's, 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 obviously, it's a fascinating story. The whole idea of going to the moon, it, you know, it invokes sort of childhood fantasies of being an astronaut and all that sort of stuff. But... Uh, I can't get too excited about it at the moment. I'm really? Excited. But, Nick, this is all about beating the Chinese. Does that make you excited? It does, actually. That's why I get up in the morning for it. This, this is a... You know, did, wasn't there a story the other day that one didn't launch because of rain? And now this one didn't launch because of a crack causing engine leak, and they don't know exactly what happened. But it is a bit worrying. I mean, if, th if this, is the, this is the unmanned test, I'd be a bit worried about the manned version if <laughs> I'm the man that's going in it. You know what I mean? I suppose astronauts by nature are brave. But if you said, yeah, yeah, the last one didn't, they didn't even launch, bro, can you get in? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'd think twice. The only thing I want to add is um, it does make you question, and you were saying to me before the show, Steve, that we probably never went to the moon. And it does make, <laughs> it does make you... I just wanted to pick the least, the least likely person yeah. to believe that. But, but it does make you question, how come we went, allegedly, all those years ago, when we needed to beat Russia in the Cold War, then it was the Russians, now it's the Chinese, and now we just... Then we couldn't go for ages, now we still can't get it together. Yeah. Aren't you a bit... Suspicious? I don't even understand how you can launch from a flat Earth. <laughs> it's a great point. <laughs> great but, point. But in defence of like not launching because it rains, I mean, it seems like oh, wrong kind of leaves on the on the track. I think launching <laughs> a rocket into a huge cloud, you'd I'd I'd stay home if that was the choice. And this leak, apparently, they couldn't test this system before. This is which is why we're having unmanned ones. There, there are a number of issues, weren't there? I think there were issues leading up to today where they were unable to test this yeah. because they'd had issues that that meant they couldn't test this particular function. And the only way they can test this particular function was in a live situation. And then, of course, they pulled out. You have a two-hour launch window in which to do it, so, yeah. Yeah. Because I know quite a lot about the, the rocket. Well, I just read it off a piece of paper. I said it with great authority. I... It's the two-hour launch window, Paul, you're referring to. I love the fact that we've all sat here and, and talked about this topic for two minutes and none of us have gone, come on, NASA, it's not rocket science. Because that, it was low-hanging fruit. I was leaving it for you, Steve. No. I know how you like those low-hanging fruit. Glad you did.